I just wanted to uh, tell you that uh, we have had very good sessions with Mexico and with the new president of Mexico, who won overwhelmingly. Uh, and uh, we're doing very well on our trade agreement. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. We may do uh, separately with Mexico, and we'll negotiate with Canada at a later time. Uh, but we're having very good discussions with Mexico. On July 25th, the leaders of the European Union will be coming to see us at the White House. And as you know, I've made no bones about it. Uh, they have massive trade barriers where our farmers can't sell there, for the most part. They have other barriers on cars and lots of other things, even medical equipment, uh, where it's very, very difficult to sell into the European Union. And they're going to be coming on July 25th to negotiate with us. Uh, we said if we don't negotiate something fair, then we have tremendous retribution, which we don't want to use, but we have tremendous powers. We have to. Uh, including cars. Cars is the big one. And you know what we're talking about with respect to cars and tariffs on cars. And they know better than you do. They know better than all of us do what that means. So they're going to come and they're going to try and negotiate a deal. We have very good relationships with Jean-Claude and uh, Donald, all of them. Uh, but they're going to be coming to the White House on July 25th. So that'll be very interesting to see what happens. But Mexico is coming along very well. We've had really, really uh, good discussions with them. And I think we can say that's pretty far advanced. It's, uh, it's getting closer all the time. Okay? Sonny Perdue, Secretary of Agriculture. Uh, I love the farmers. And we're breaking down barriers. One of the things I'm doing, as you know, with these trade deals that have been so unfair to our farmers and to our workers and to our companies from other countries. Uh, we're talking about it all the time. And we're breaking down barriers so that our farmers can sell their goods to other countries like they sell their goods to us. And one of the examples is Canada. They charge us on dairy products 275% uh, tariff. 275%. It's just not appropriate. It's not fair. And there's a big imbalance, even though a lot of people don't think there is. But there is a big imbalance between Canada and the United States in terms of surplus and deficit. Uh, but uh, perhaps you could talk a little bit about the farmer. And I think they understand exactly what we're doing. And uh, we're doing it as rapidly as possible. And we're taking some strong measures. But it's not fair when — I won't mention specific countries, but you know the ones I'm talking about — when certain countries have barriers that make it impossible for our farmers to sell into those countries, and yet they sell all sorts of products into ours unrestricted. Very unfair. Sonny? Uh, your farmers in America, Mr. President, understand that uh, you're taking this fight on ba their behalf. Uh, I used the metaphor yesterday. It's a little bit like weight loss. It's a little painful in the meantime, <laughs> but they're looking forward to being a, a winning later on. So uh, I, think, uh, I think they understand that, obviously. You may not name those countries, but you've talked about in the past the EU and China playing very unfairly with the non-tariff uh, barriers they've had in place for many years in, in many ways. And uh, our patriot farmers understand that you're the first one to uh, attack this. They're very anxiously awaiting the wins, and we hope that uh, the deal with Mexico and uh, then Canada can come along uh, very quickly behind that. But they are, uh, they're with you. They're hurting, actually, economically. Uh, they are strong American values, and they believe that you're an American first president, and uh, they, they want to be with you. Uh, we just need to help their pocketbooks. Well, I am, and I, I will <coughs> say that uh, if you look at soybeans, I looked at a chart the other day that came out recently, uh, just prior to the election, five years before that, soybeans have been cut in half price-wise. Now, I've only been here for a little more than a year and a half with Mike, but I will tell you, soybean is uh, way down over a five-year period prior to the election. So something has to be done. And you know that over a 15-year period, pricing and farms and everything else has been very much trending down. So we're going to straighten that out. And they have to bear with us. But they are. They're great American patriots, and they really uh, they really are something. They're very special 